Adobe Shared Project Workflow is a method of working locally using shared storage with multiple editors sharing project files and using project locking to avoid any conflicts. And an optional component is to use a master project to provide organization and a 50,000 foot view of the overall project being edited. There are several myths about how this behaves and I want to take a moment and discuss these myths. First off, this workflow is all based on local, normal Premiere Pro project files. There's no special shared project file format to worry about. Each individual project created can still be used as a standalone Premiere Pro project, same as before. Second, this workflow is available to all users of Premiere Pro, regardless of whether they are an individual user, a CC Teams member, or are part of an enterprise. Third, this uses an all-local workflow and is not dependent on the internet in any way. For customers dealing with MPAA regulations or in secure sandbagged environments, this is very important. Fourth, this works with a wide variety of shared storage. As long as your shared storage is rated for video editorial workflows, it should work with Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is compatible with many shared storage vendors, so check with your vendor to be sure. There is no special hardware or server that needs to be set up to use a shared project workflow. The only software necessary is Premiere Pro 12.0.1 or higher, and any tools necessary to mount your shared storage to your computer. Lastly, a shared project workflow does not have any rigid organization. It can be customized to best suit your needs as an editing team. Easily break projects into reels, scenes, acts, organize by days of shooting, reuse common elements like sound effects and music from job to job. 